Hi, I'm Hunter Allen with Peaks Coaching Group, and today I want to talk a little about bilateral power meter measurement. What is bilateral power meter measurement? It's when you're measuring both sides, the right and the left, in uh, independently. Okay, I've got the new PowerTap P2 pedals here, lighter than the P1s, a little bit longer battery life, and they're silver. Um, and let's talk a little about how these things measure. So first off, what we're looking at is each of these things measured independently. There, when the left power, the left pedal goes down, it's measuring the output of the power on the left side. When it comes up, it's measuring some of the negative forces, right? Because you produce a little bit of negative forces on the upstroke. And then the right side does the same. They're measuring these two things independently, putting them together in your head unit. So then you got one number in your head unit. You can see balance. You can see a bunch of other things inside here. But what we want to look at today is we want to look at a little bit about how you measure power and why it's important to uh, look at it a little differently than most people think. First off, the way that this is measured from an ANT plus protocol perspective, ANT plus being that communication protocol from your head unit to the power main or pedals, is that they measure all the power on the left leg and say this is all the left leg. They measure all the power on the right leg and say this is the right leg. But we're connected by crank arms, right? So this left foot, when this goes down, this right foot, this goes up. Okay, so this left leg is releasing power, this right leg is absorbing power. So we call this gross power released on the left, we call this gross power absorbed on the right. Then when that changes place, now we have gross power released on the right and gross power absorbed on the left. So that's an important concept to know because what you want to look at and really in terms of balance is that you're looking at the left releasing power and then you're subtracting out the negative power of the right leg and vice versa. The right releases power and the negative power of the left leg. So let's look at it on a little chart here. So if we just look at a graph here, real simple, right, we have an XY axis. And what, we, what we're looking at here is um, we're going to have uh, basically this is zero at the top of the uh, pedal stroke. Here's 90, here's 180, and then here's 270. All right, and then we'll go out here, and then this is 360 again. Okay, so this is the way that we would look at this. Most people on the, uh, let's say, you know, they produce the most power around 90 RPM. So here we have this power starts out at zero, comes up to 90, right, and then it starts to come down at 180, so not producing much power at all, if any. And then on the upstroke, it's starting to produce a little bit of, there's a little bit of negative force here that's occurring. And then this comes out about right here and starts to produce a little more power that way. So this could be the left leg as it goes around the pedal circle. Then if we take the right leg, well, what's the right leg doing? The right leg is going to have this negative power opposing the left leg initially, right? So Initially, you've got this um, kind of negative forces that are occurring right in this range out here around 180, and then guess what? That's when this one's coming up here. This is now 90, right, as the right leg goes over, and then it comes back down again. Here's the right leg, okay? So when you look at this, these things are really opposing each other, and that's where that 90 degree is. So this is how this force actually is created when we look at both left and right, all right? So you've got to connect them together. We call this a pedaling phase, right? So it's not just the left leg pedaling, right? It's not just the left leg doing it all by itself. It's these things in a phase they're moving together, right? So we have the left phase, we have the right phase. That's the most important thing to look at. So that's a little primer on how left, right pedaling works. Power meter measurement, bilateral pedaling. That's an important thing to understand. I'm Hunter Allen, thanks for watching. Like us on Instagram, check us out on Facebook. We've got all kinds of articles on our power blog as well. Hunter Allen Power Blog, check that out. I've got a great article there on in-depth power meter, bilateral power meter measurement. I know you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching.